everyone, and welcome to Moonlit Scary Stories. We are your hosts, Cameron and Skylar, and today we are actually going to be doing a podcast together entitled The Elevator Game. Yes, I'm excited. So, in this podcast, we need to warn you of the possibility of language that may not be appropriate for all ages and to some may be offensive. The content we go over in this episode is recommended for mature audiences and a trigger warning due to the due to the content consisting of ghost, murder, and just other dimensions, because it's a freaky, it's a freaky game, and just a warning that, you know, do not, you can play it at your own risk, and you'll hear me say that throughout the podcast, so do what you want to do, boo-boo. So, (laughs) do do you know anything about the elevator game at all before we? Sorry. (laughs) No, you're good, you're good. No, I don't. Um, I know you mentioned a podcast that we both listened to had an episode about it, but I don't think I listened to it. And if I know I listened to one about an elevator, but I think it was maybe a different one because I don't remember any of this at all. I just know the what the stories I have say. (laughs) Awesome. So I want to tell you about the story that when the podcast talk, uh, talked about it's just a little synopsis of it but it's a great I don't know if it it's it's just a it's just just like a theory about Eliza Lamb and her death so in 2013 at the Cecil Hotel Eliza Lamb uh went there you know as just like a, the, a trip to go on a trip but she ended up being dead in and I'll tell you where in a minute. But her death was listed as an accidental drowning with her bipolar disorder. So, you know, throughout the history, I guess, not history, but throughout Eliza Lamb, they talk about her uh, bipolarness and everything like that and how she just went to, like, just, it's just a trip that she wanted to go on and then she just disappeared but the strange details around her case attracted, you know, just amateur detectives and they contested the ruling of an accidental drowning and bipolar disorder because her body was found in a water tank on top of the hotel that filtered pretty much the hotel's water. Oh, God, ew. <laughs> yeah. So before her body How was long found. Was she there? Uh, it must have been a few weeks or months because she was uh, apparently they had they could taste the water difference so it was kind of yeah 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 so so before her body was found the police released (laughs) yeah yeah no that's what I'm saying it yeah yeah I couldn't imagine but before she even was found in the water tank the police released security footage believing oddly of her behaving oddly in the hotel elevator so surprisingly you know unsurprisingly excuse me it went viral and people started picking apart the video formulating uh, speculations about foul play and the one of the oddest theories was that Eliza Lamb was playing the elevator game Mm -hmm. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so the elevator game what <laughs> okay so this so i'm gonna go ahead and just say if if you're ever in an elevator and want to play this game just don't do it just don't do it because just reading about the rules and everything that happens that supposedly happens i don't even want like i get cold chills even reading about it so it's kind of like to sum it up before I get into everything, it's kind of like Bloody Mary. You know, when we were kids in our age, that would that was our game. You know, we'd go in. I don't know if you've played it, but I played it plenty of times and was terrified the whole time doing it. But thankfully, knock on wood, nothing ever happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, yeah. have you played it at all? I think I did when I was really little, but I don't remember it. I don't remember. Okay. Well, <clears throat> excuse me. So, 
they call it the elevator games history is very very it says that she was in the for 19 days after she was reported missing so 19 days later after she was reported missing is when they found her in the water tank wow so yeah yeah no i could i could imagine i couldn't imagine the scene oh i just wonder how she got there well i that's that's what they want to know so and then that's why this that's why they think that she was playing the elevator game so the history of the game some some of some people call it elevator to another world uh, it became a it came, became a viral hit on a Korean website in the early 2010s. So it is to be said that when playing, you're going into another dimension. Some may call it the dimension shadow side dimension. Most of them call it the elevator to hell. Hmm. Yeah. So the <laughs> earliest I've heard it mentioned. Of anything about the elevator game was July 11th, 2010, from players that attempted at performing the ritual, they call it. So, regardless if you have more than 10 floors and on an elevator, and from the stories we're about to hear, I'd say play at your own risk. <laughs> uh, let's see. So, what you need to play, they tell you, is this is this is the stuff you need to know that you need to know that you need this is how you play it. So you will need three conditions. All three conditions must be met so it so this can work. So one building, at least 10 stories high, and ding ding ding, an elevator. <laughs> okay. Listen to these instructions. And again, this is not us telling you to play. You can decide that at your own risk, but don't say no one did not warn you. So (laughs) you enter your building and hop on into the elevator on the first floor. Only if you are the only one in the elevator. They say do not start this when there's other passengers because one, obviously they're not going to like you very much. And two, (laughs) they might have places they need to go. Naturally. Yeah, anyway, if you if you're the only one on, and they say, then they also say while you're doing the ritual, if somebody hops on, just stop it immediately. Just don't even put let them do it, unless there's one specific person that hops on, and I'll get to that. So you're the only one on. You will press the button to the fourth floor. When you reach the fourth floor, do not step out. I repeat, do not get off the elevator. Instead, Mm -hmm. just keep your little honey right where you're at and press the (laughs) button to the second floor. When you reach the second floor, again, just stay put. Then you're going to press the button to the sixth floor. When you reach the sixth floor, you got it. Stay in the elevator and press the button to the second floor. Again. When you get to the second floor... Of course, you know, they say stay in the elevator. Then you're going to press the button to the 10th floor. When you get to the 10th floor, remain in the elevator and go back to the 5th floor. Now, (laughs) once you get on the 5th floor, a young woman may enter. And if she does, do not look at her. Do not speak to her. Do not answer any questions. Just don't fuck with her, pretty much. (laughs) Because apparently she is not what she seems to be. So, okay. (laughs) So, she gets on, maybe. But you'll press the button to the first floor. So, you're not looking at her, you're not talking to her, you're not doing anything. You're just pressing the button to the first floor. Here's where I get the chills, because... If you push the first uh, the button to the first floor and the elevator begins to go up to the 10th floor instead of going down to the floor you pushed, you may proceed. I'll get to what you proceed with in a minute. 
if the elevator goes straight down to the first floor, just exit as soon as those doors open. Just beeline it. Don't look back. Don't go home. Don't talk. Just just go home and just be done with it. Because if I did that and it went down to the first floor and there's somebody sitting beside me, you best believe I'm about to just hop out of the elevator and go because I ain't gonna I ain't gonna do any more of it. I'm I'm done. I'm tapping out. Yeah. You may be, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you may be asking what happens if you go on the tenth floor instead and walk out. Well, you may either choose two things. You can choose to get off the elevator, away from the creepy woman, or stay on. <laughs> If you choose to get off, and if the woman entered the elevator from the fifth floor, uh, starts asking you where you're going, do not answer. Do not look at her. Just, just, just hop off. Just, just snip. Just hop off. <laughs> you will apparently know that you have arrived at another world by one indication, and that is the person present in it is you and only you. So I've well, never been I've never been dimension hopping. So I don't know. I've not I don't understand how they you can tell if it's another world or not. But apparently if you get when you get off the tenth floor, you'll be in quote another world. So they're saying that the one indication that is present in this world is you that's the only thing that's gonna th that you're gonna know how you arrived is that the person present is just you so i guess nobody else nobody on the elevator it's just you and you're walking through another world i don't know okay so i'm confused so like you're the only, only human being here yeah is that what you're yeah. saying and yeah, how would you leave so I'll get to that. I'll get to that. I'll get to that if you leave. Uh, so if you, you know, if you decide, nah, that's not you, like you're going to just go home. You're not going to get off the elevator on the 10th floor. This is where they call it your return trip. So you stay on, you don't get off, you stay on with a woman. So you're going to press the first floor. They say that if you so they say if you pretty much you hit the the hit one the, button you go down yeah and it they say that it don't work they say that it's not gonna it's not gonna automatically close the doors so you have to keep pressing that first floor button and remember you don't look up you don't speak because she's gonna be talking to you trying to get you to talk and then that's when the doors will close and you go to the first floor and just run. Just mainly get off and don't look. Don't speak. Just get off. Just go. Just run. <laughs> so this is <laughs> yeah. I I could not do this. I could not just thinking about it. I I could not do it. So say that you're on the tenth floor, you get off, some stuff doesn't seem right. So you want to go back. And that's, that's, that's still, you know, your return trip. So what you need and wanted to return, you have to use the same elevator you used to get off. So if you come to use the same elevator you use when you get, when you get on the elevator on the 10th floor. So when you're going to, when you get on the elevator from the 10th floor, you're going to press the buttons in the same order as you did to begin with. So you're going to have to remember this combination. It's like four, two, six, two, ten, five. So you're going to have to remember those floors and remember that combination and remember the elevator you get off of to get back on to come to the right world, they say. So this is after you've gotten off and explore, explored the other dimension? Yes. Yes. Okay. This is after. So they say that you know, press the same buttons that you should stop on the fifth floor. And when you finally get to the fifth floor, press the first floor button. And the elevator then will begin to go to the tenth floor. Again, any other floor button, just press any other floor button to cancel. 
But if you press the button before, if you press the button after you go to the 10th floor, you're going to have to do this all over again. So you need to press it and cancel going to the 10th floor before you even get to the 10th floor. So that will bring you, that will start bringing you down to the first. When you reach the first floor, you're going to make sure nothing seems off, even the smallest detail. So if you see anything small detail off, do not exit. If you detect something's wrong, repeat literally the steps again and do it all over. So you'll have to go to the fourth, to the second, to the sixth, to the second, to the tenth, to the fifth, to the first, until your surroundings look as they should. So once you have made sure, hop off and go go, go along your way and don't look back. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that was the rules. That was just the rules. Now, somebody playing this, I could not do it. I don't know. I think I'm, I'm, I would be interested in trying it just to see. Oh, I feel like I yeah. would fuck up an elevator, though. Yeah, I want, I want, I don't know. It'd be pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah, but. <laughs> I mean, you could always try if you wanted. <laughs> and let me know how it goes. Yeah, I'd have to find an elevator or a building with enough floors first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to hear about like your recent stories you found because just, just I don't know. I know it's kind of new and it's a it's type it's a type of urban legend. It's not really an urban legend, but it's it's a it's a theory of how somebody died because I mean, well, that is actually in itself what sparked the urban legend. It's still an urban legend. It's just like there's yeah. always a reason why something becomes an urban legend, you know. And I think yeah. her story is the reason why it was. Well, I think, yeah, because that they even the video footage apparently they talk about how you can see her poke her head out. And she's not herself or something. I don't know. But they think she was playing this game. And she was doing the ritual they, they claim they, you know, tell you to do. So, yeah. <laughs> but she didn't live to tell anybody, unfortunately, which is sad. Yeah, that is terrible. Hmm. Well, was that all you had for your part? Yeah, that is actually all I had for the, I mean, it's pretty pretty much the the directions that freak me out the most <laughs> yeah <laughs> so the first story i had was i found on reddit and it was posted by you slash ripped underscore geek four years ago so this is not my story whatsoever this is just a retelling of what you like the letter you slash ripped underscore geek posted on reddit four years ago so <clears throat> this person was intrigued by the elevator game they were of course a skeptic so they decided to try the elevator game so they did and nothing happened no woman on the flint the fifth floor no ascension to the 10th floor when the button was pressed hmm. went out for the first floor it nothing happened okay so they tried it the first time nothing happened well that night this person couldn't sleep um woke up in sweats got up to do some errands that day and noticed that the elevator was actually out of order so oh. I, thought that was little, I thought that was a little bit creepy but at the same time i thought well maybe he just fucked up the elevator <laughs> yeah maybe <laughs> but I would have been creeped out just knowing the elevator was not working after I did it. Yeah. So, later that evening, they said about 10 p.m. that night, this person heard a loud, high-pitched cry from outside their door of their home, and no one else was on that floor. Like He said that neighbors were on vacation. There was no one else supposed to be on the floor at this time. 
So we went in to check it out. Never do that. That's what all white people do, including yeah. myself. You go search for the noise, and I don't know why we do that. I don't it's know just, why. I guess, we do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I get that. I went, we were talking about that earlier because we were watching a movie, a scary movie, and I was like, why do people do that? Like, don't go towards the fucking sound. Just get the fuck <laughs> out. Just go. Don't try to be a hero. That. Just go. I'm guilty of it, too. I don't know why. <laughs> but anyways. <laughs> so we went outside the door and found footprints that had like a, that looked kind of muddy. And, but also looked a little bit reddish. So it was like a muddy reddish combination mm. so it looked like the person had possibly had a cut on their foot and had walked in something muddy so anyways that's what the footprints were so the footsteps led to the no longer out of order elevator <laughs> no <laughs> so this person decided to go to see security who was on for security that night so got on the elevator abort <laughs> abort so this person lived on the 11th floor so they went down oh. so it went 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 ping, ping. Oh. stopped on the 5th floor so the elevator doors opened on the 5th floor instead of the lobby which is where they had pressed to go they had pressed to go to the lobby oh so as the doors opened, a woman with dark hair wearing a black tattered evening gown entered the elevator. Yeah, bye. <laughs> so he became frozen, kept, their, kept his gaze down at the lady's feet, which had torn skin dangling off like she was rotting from the inside out. Oh. And also a rotting smell coming from her as well. So as this person looked up at the woman's, wait, yeah, so we actually did look up at her face, and she had like a sinister grin on her. Sorry, I forgot uh -uh. about that. Yeah. So then he no. had to finish the game. He pressed the first button, he pressed the first button and began to go up to floor 10. Mm. Ran onto the floor. With the woman calling from behind him, where are you going, Sammy? I just got called. <laughs> this is pretty creepy. He continued to run, but it was like he couldn't get away from the elevator. And when he looked out the window, he saw the sky was a reddish color and a burning cross was in the sky as well with body parts around it. He, pulled, he turned away and pressed. Okay, so he turned away, ran back, pressed the elevator button, and the elevator actually, the doors actually open instantly, which I guess other stories say that they don't, that they take a while. Yeah. And that's when he began to reverse perform the game. When he got back down, um, he went to his room, went to sleep, and ended up back in the other world with the lady chasing him. And the following night, she was ahead of him in his dreams with no place to go. And in this, particularly, her finger touched his abdomen, causing pain and ended up causing a red mark on his stomach as well. So after that happened, he had a lot of pain from his stomach and he went to the emergency room to find out that he had internal bleeding. So in fear that night, because he had gotten like a lot of medication for the pain and stuff. Uh -huh. he, so he was scared he wasn't going to wake up if he fell asleep again because he thought that she was going to kill him in his sleep. He went to the hospital chapel and prayed. And Phil actually fell asleep in the chapel. Um, when he woke up in the chapel, he was unharmed. And he ended up leaving the hospital to buy sage to cleanse his home. And it says that he didn't have any more night, 
like nightmares. Uh-huh. But he still feels like something's watching him. Or that there's a presence when he's at the elevator. But he's not yeah. taking, he doesn't take the elevator anymore. He takes the stairs. Yeah, I'm good, fam. I'm not going to do an elevator. I'm not, I'm not going to do this game. I'm good. I'm good, fam. I'm good. Just no, that was, the, that was the first story. <laughs> um, oh, God. Okay. And that was oh. about four years ago, like I said. The next one yeah. I have was posted by you slash spooky Jin. And it was posted two years ago. And this was also on Reddit, too. So this mm. person was vacationing in Manhattan um, with her husband. And they had rented a hotel in Manhattan that was already creepy and old and spooky as it was. But it had enough floors to play the elevator game. <laughs> and she was interested in doing this. So... He ventured onto the elevator at 1 a.m. from the 11th floor and went to the first floor, then hit four, two, six, two, ten. And during this whole thing, she kept her head down and then finally pressed five. Hmm. Um. So the doors opened on 10, of course, and then she pressed the button five. She gave it some time while on the floor. Then, like, when she got down to five, she just kind of sat there for a second. And then she, when she went to press the one button, she heard footsteps. She kept her head down as a woman walked onto the elevator. She Mm -hmm. pressed one, which took time to work, and it took a while to close the doors. Then she heard the woman say, what floor? She did not reply, and the lady asked again. But she continued not to answer, and it got angry. Hey, I know you. And the voice grew louder. Then, because she wasn't answering the questions, the lady began to move in the elevator and scratch at the mirrors in the elevator. Oh, God. Okay. (laughs) Where are you going? Then asked the same line backwards. So asked, going, you are where? I got cold (laughs) chills. Then the elevator opened and she stepped out onto the floor, keeping her gaze straight ahead. Then she heard chanting, which became more of a suffering and moaning sound as she continued to venture onto the floor. But she could still feel the woman on the elevator watching her. She then came upon a window and started, at that moment, had started hearing footsteps behind her. She turned to look and saw the fragile woman standing in place, not actually moving, who then smiled as she caught her gaze and began sprinting towards her. Fuck no. <laughs> So the lady, so the woman that's telling the story started running toward an elevator that never seemed to get closer. Like, so she just kept running and running and it was like she wasn't going anywhere. So she kept running until she finally made it to the elevator and tried, and she opened the doors and she got on and she tried shutting the doors as the woman who followed her sat outside the elevator and waved goodbye to her. (laughs) Um, (laughs) so after all this after she got back to her room security was there with her husband who said that she had been gone for like four hours and worried (laughs) and this lady of course warns to not play the elevator thing (laughs) I'm telling you I'm telling you if you have any if you if you listen to this and you have any motive to do that don't do it don't do it don't do it we just heard two stories no nah, I'm good I'm good yeah it's definitely creepy like I would shit my pants <laughs> god oh my gosh I just okay so if y'all heard that that was my dog growling and 
It kind of scared the shit out of me. <laughs> but that was it. That's the two stories I found. I thought they were pretty, pretty good and seemed to, after hearing your part of the story, it definitely seemed to line up with um, what the rules are and what's supposed to happen. So that yeah, actually see, worked out really well. <laughs> yeah, so that, yeah, it did. I just, oh, yeah, nah, those, <laughs> those, 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 good, those two were good stories. See, I only heard of the Eliza Lamb one, so they didn't really go into, I mean, obviously they didn't, they didn't get her tape, but they showed, they had the video or whatever that went viral, but just having somebody else to do it and have them tell it, it's kind of, yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. not going to be going on any elevators playing that game anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, these stories definitely can make you feel like you shouldn't do something like that, for sure. Uh, I do want to reiterate once again that these stories were not ours. Um, they were found on Reddit by, and one of them was by you slash ripped underscore geek, and the other one was by you slash spooky gin. So, awesome. if you're listening, and we told your story. Yeah, so. we'd love to hear from you. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, or if y'all play the elevator game and decide to write in go ahead tell us and tell us what you experienced because yeah. yeah there was a lot of stories on reddit to choose from actually which i, I figured was there would be i figured they would be because it was just i mean it's re- it's in the 2010 so like for us like i said us would have been bloody mary you would hear bloody mary all the time like yeah. Growing up, that's what they're like. Are you gonna play Bloody Mary? I'm like, nah, I'm good. Like, I already did it. It doesn't happen. I'm not gonna chance it again. Like, I'm good. Or Candyman, that was a big one too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Same concept. Really, yeah, yeah. What you're supposed to do. Yeah, but nah, I'm good, fam. That woman can stay where <laughs> she's at. <laughs> I don't want to go to another world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Like I like I mean you see all these shows that depict like other dimensions and stuff which you know there might there may be a glitch in the system that you find that other world but I'm not going to go looking for one. I'll just stay where I'm at. I'm, yeah. I'm good. <laughs> awesome. That was pretty good. I'm excited. Yeah. Uh So yeah, we're going to do good. these Yeah, well, and we'll, we'll do these kind of like after our each of our uh ones that we pick so you guys can have you know both of us doing the same story and pretty much finding out what the other one found and i'm excited for our next one which is uh the ha- halloween episodes i think we're gonna do uh and then the one that you've picked for us to do together of course too which i'm excited about yeah. that one i am too that one's pretty interesting as well <laughs> I mean, awesome. it's not it's not an urban legend, but it's interesting. Oh yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, you want to so, do our social media? Yeah, I was about to say that. So we are Moonlit Scary Stories on Instagram, Moonlit Scary on Twitter. You can email us at moonlitscarystories at gmail dot com, and we'd love to hear from you guys. Anything you have to say, constructive criticism, updates. Um, changes to anything we've said corrections I mean but yeah just hit us up we are definitely interested in hearing from you guys especially if any of our episodes ever you know have to do with something you've experienced yourself hit us up we would love to hear about your story Mm -hmm. and that's it so thanks for listening everyone All right. Awesome. Talk to you next time. Bye.